Hi everyone, Blake Burkamp, research agronomist with Great Plains Ag, uh, coming to you from the field today with the Great Plains inline subsoiler. Uh, so we're in the field doing some a deep vertical tillage this fall in milo stalks, and we are going to go through uh, feature benefits of the subsoiler, joined with uh, Kale Unruh, uh, territory manager. I'm Kale Unruh, like Blake said, uh, territory manager for Western Kansas, Southern Colorado, and the Panhandle of Texas. We're out here today with uh, an SS2000 subsoiler that one of our dealers, Calvesta Implement and Calvesta Kansas, retailed. Uh, this particular model is an SS2000. We are looking at a seven shank model right here uh, on 30 inch spacing. Um, some things that we offer on, this is obviously a three point model. We offer an inline hitch. We also on the larger units and larger models offer an SSH subsoiler. Um, this, you'll notice here, we've offered a no-till coulter. This is a standard option on here. We also offer gauge wheels. Um, this setup on this unit is, has got the no-till shank. It's a three-quarter inch no-till shank with a 10-inch winged point. We also offer berm conditioners as an option that will bolt onto this that, that you can also run if a person is interested in it. The subsoiler lineup we offer in 24, 30, 36, 38, and 40-inch row spacing. So, Blake, so what are we out here to accomplish? Yes, Kale. So again, this is a deep vertical tillage tool. I mentioned you're running a three-quarter inch uh, no-till shank with a 10-inch wing point, uh, which is very uh, popular in a lot of conditions, uh, particularly uh, in no-till style conditions. We're looking to minimize that surface disturbance and residue burial. So as you can see here, uh, doing a nice job uh, leaving that surface level or not running the berm conditioners in this application. If we were, that's a 16 inch diameter round bar basket that fit on the back behind those shanks that would even firm up uh, that shank void a bit more. But again, the producer is very happy with, with what we're uh, looking at for the surface finish with this tool. Uh, we're, looking to run these shanks a couple of inches deeper than our compaction layer. Uh, so compaction here is in that eight to 10 inch range. Uh, we're running about in that 14 inch range uh, with this subsoiler today. So Kale, there's also a couple of different options uh, for shanks uh, with a shear bolt style or auto reset, is that correct? That's correct. And we also offer um, in certain conditions where if a person wants to, we can go with an inch and a quarter shank and it's got a lineup of different points that a customer can choose to run in that situation as well. So inch and a quarter points might fit the producers in more of those conventional till environments, a little bit more disturbance on the surface with those, uh, but another great option out there for uh, farmers. So for more information on the Great Plains inline subsoiler, uh, reach out to your local Great Plains Ag dealer or visit us online at greatplainsag.com.